And we begin with parents grilling that local state's attorney about the handling of a high school football hazing case. Good evening, I'm George Mallet. And I'm Stephanie Gorin. Investigators say in 2011 and 2012, Milton High School football players sodomized or attempted to sodomize teammates with broom handles and pool cues. Nonetheless, the district decided not to conduct its own investigation. Now, the Milton School Board says it's hoping an in, or it's hiring an investigator to determine if the incident was handled properly by administrators. Tonight, parents got their chance to talk to the Chittenden County State's Attorney at a public forum. WPTV's Robin Estabrook is on the story tonight and live in the newsroom with the latest. Robin. Well, Stephanie, tonight parents had the opportunity to ask questions about the Milton High School hazing situation. People packed in the Milton High School library for the community forum on the football hazing situation. One of the victim's family spoke. They say their son and brother committed suicide a year after being allegedly hazed by his football team members. And now that we have recently learned of the assault against Jordan that took place at a 2011 football team function, on Milton School grounds, we are left to wonder how that cruel and intentional act must have affected him every day. Jordan Preeby's father, Sean, says he wants to make sure all those involved are held accountable. Then and only then <clears throat> can our family and the community begin to heal and our son can be at peace with the confidence that this pattern of behavior doesn't ever happen again. People at the forum wanted to know why the incident wasn't reported sooner and why the misdemeanor charge of simple assault for five former football players wasn't more severe. They asked Superintendent John Barone and Prosecutor T.J. Donovan. The school decided not to report to DCF because they believe the requirement triggering the mandatory reporting was not met. Parents also had questions about how reporting of the incident was handled. In the court of law, it will be difficult to ask a teenager to remember and recreate conversations that may or may have not occurred and events from two to three years ago. As for the Preview family, they want to make sure no family ever has to endure their pain. Don't we owe it to every child, parent, and our community to make sure that it doesn't happen again? Thank you. The school board is currently in the process of hiring an investigator to see how school administrators handled the situation. Live in the newsroom, Robin Esterbrook, WPTZ News Channel 5.